y'all and welcome back to Dangerously Delicious Barbecue. I am your favorite barbecue host, Laura Parsons, and today we are making little like taco wonton cups. So they're super, super easy to make. Um, all you do is you brown some ground beef and you add some taco seasoning to it and then you add salsa or tomatoes or chilies or any kind of any any way that you like to make your tacos you can add those ingredients to the meat so i'm just going to do them simple tonight because they're for the kids to eat for dinner so as you can see right here i've already grounded the ground beef and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this mild taco seasoning by taco bell to add to the ground beef and then I have some homemade garlic fire roasted salsa that I made on my Rectech 340 that I'm gonna add there's probably about oh, maybe about a half a cup here I'm gonna add just a little bit of it just about half of what's left so about a quarter of a cup and then I'm gonna go ahead and stir that up. And as soon as I get it stirred up, then I will be back to show you what it looks like. Hey Y'all, I'm back and I have the meat mixture already stirred up. And I ended up uh, adding the rest of the salsa cause it wasn't wet enough when I put just half of what I had left. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like. And it actually smells super delicious. And what we're gonna do next is we're going to line a muffin tin with wonton wraps. So I got these at my local grocery store and they usually have them over in like the specialty section, um, like where like the creamer and believe it or not, the creamer and the like butter and yogurt and stuff are. And what, what you do is you spray each cup with a cooking spray and then you line each cup with one wonton and then you put a little bit of of the meat mixture in each one. And then after you do that, you will add a sprinkle of your favorite cheese. I'm just using cheddar tonight. Sprinkle with just a little bit, doesn't have to be too much. Try to keep it as clean as possible too so your cheese isn't melting all over your tin or your uh, cupcake pan. And then after you do that with all of them on the first layer, you will add a second wonton and push it down to kind of like flatten it out. And you'll do the same thing. You'll add a little bit more meat and you'll add a little bit more cheese. And then we're gonna get this popped on the grill. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish all 12 of these and then I'll be back to show you the next step. Okay, y'all, I have them all prepared and I'm getting ready to throw them onto my Rectech 340 Trailblazer at 375 degrees for about 11 to 15 minutes until the wontons are golden brown and crispy. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what they look like. They look so good and it smells really, really good for it only being a few different ingredients. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them on the grill and get a timer set and I will be back to show you what they look like while they're cooking on the grill. All right, y'all, I've got it set at 375. they're completely finished and they look amazing and they smell even better than they look. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a look at them. So I cooked these right at 12 minutes and as you can tell, the wontons are golden brown and the cheese is melted. So what I'm going to do now is just add a dollop of sour cream to the top of each one and they'll be complete. 
Thank you all so much for watching this video with me today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And as always, I appreciate the support and the followers and all of the love that I receive from you guys. So until next time, I'll see you later.